Okay, I got one for you. When I lived in Mississippi, we had this guy who lived in the city, and he won the lottery. And he wanted to buy a farm. But he was like gentleman Jimmy, didn't know nothing about farming. So anyway, he bought the farm. Next Poor guy. Time. No, he's, yeah, I know, what you're th I know what you're thinking. So he comes over to our place a couple weeks later. He's got no eggs, he says. He says, you got chickens? Yeah. You got a rooster? He's like, no. Oh, jeez. So I hauled a booster. Booster, I get this rooster. He's very oversexed. I'd be glad to get rid of him. So I give him, how many hens you got? I yeah, hens you got a hundred, you don't know. Booster's all excited. Ooh, a hundred hens. So you take Booster, but be careful. He's a good rooster. I need him back. So, Joe and Jim goes over there. And, oh my God. Booster goes nuts. Feathers flying, squawking all night long. He hardly gets any sleep, right? Then he wakes up. He goes to get some coffee and he goes out to slop the hogs. Feed the chickens. He's spreading the corn out, right? You don't see the Booster. Booster! Here, yeah, Booster! It's like, oh no, I'm responsible for this rooster. He looks Attention out the professional pasture. drivers. Driver number 166. Sees the uh, buzzer circling. He's like, oh shit. He goes out there and there's the Booster, legs up, doing the old legs up wiry. And he comes over and goes, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. All of a sudden, Booster's wings move like this. Shh. Uh, that's how you respond. I am amused. <laughs>